teacher. What a surprise to see you here at the park. I am happy to see you, student. I have a question I have been meaning to ask you. Why don't you like to talk with me about your writing? I like you, teacher. But you never. I always listen to you. I care about you and your writing. I am sorry to say this, teacher, but you just interrupted me. When I wrote about my dog getting hit by a truck, you did not even care. You just talked about indenting. You don't even look at me. I do look at you. And I look at your writing. You always say, I want to know this. And I want to know that. Add more this. Add more that. I do? Yes. And you grab my writing. And you stand way over me, just looking down at me while I... Sometimes I sit down. But my knees hurt. I am old. You write all over my paper. And you come up with good phrases for me to copy and you tell me exactly what to do all of the time and I never get to think of anything and when I'm finished it feels like the paper is yours and not even mine and I don't even care about it anymore and it should just have your name on it. Oh my. My dog's name was Daisy. Do you miss her? A lot. I wrote a poem about her at home. I would love to read it. It is not an acrostic, and I don't know if it paints a picture with words. It does not rhyme and be a B pattern. If you would like to bring it to school, I will listen to you read it if you would like. I promise not to take your poem out of your hands. I want to hear what you think of the ending. I want to hear what you have to say. And I hope I will be able to help you with the ending. Really, teacher? Yes, student. I am sorry. About Daisy. And about not listening. I will bring my poem tomorrow. I still have Daisy's collar. You know. Daisy was a lucky dog to have you. I am glad we talked. See you tomorrow. Have fun at the park. See you tomorrow. With my poem. And I've got a funny cat one too. I'll bring both. Bye.